Guys, we're over here at Palomar College and we're going to be going around interviewing people and asking them the best or worst excuse they've ever gotten for somebody to break up with them. We've all been heartbroken, let's find out how. <laughs> I got broke up with because I'm from Houston and I moved to California with my girl that won a relationship. We were together for four years. Wow. Yeah, I think I mean more than that, you know? Seriously? Yeah. Well, at least she was honest. <laughs> That's a legitimate excuse, though, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I can't go home. We don't appreciate it. I want you back. <laughs> if you I don't really bring up with people. I leave them like hanging. So like, just in case I need them, then they're there. And then... Oh, anything. Uh, <laughs> so what I'll do is uh, not call for a while and then have her break up with me. So it's a little bit easier. You know? I don't have to be the bad guy in this situation. The passive aggressive breakup. Yeah, exactly. I love it. I love it. I want to know if best or worst, but the the most you know outlandish one was I told this girl that she was just completely crazy. So you go with more of the honest approach. Yeah, I just went, oh, hey, um, I gotta kind of talk to you. Um, you know, we've been going out for a little bit, and uh, I kind of realized that you're crazy. Not like that kind of, like, cute crazy, like, you know, oh, she's got that little thing she does. No, that, like, kind of, what if I wake up without, like, a limb because she just wanted to keep a part of me with her at all times? That kind of crazy. Awesome. I told me that um, he wanted to like start like an introspective journey, like find himself, so he couldn't like be with me. Awesome. I, I love it. I was like, poor Queen. Okay. <laughs> Did he find himself? No, he's still really having trouble. <laughs> I told the guy that it's not him and it's me, and that we're better off as friends. Oh, you guys still friends? He's one of my friends. <laughs> he told me that. Um, God told him that it wasn't That's all I was there with him. Him. <laughs> What'd you say? And I said, why didn't he tell me? <laughs> <laughs> they told me that they thought he was a little brother and not like a boyfriend. <gasps> <laughs> the brother and not the boyfriend. Wow. No, you didn't even no. get the, let's just be friends. You got the, nope. the brother. Yeah. Wow. You rolling? Yeah, all right, this up. what happened. I told her, I'm sorry, baby. But what you want is not what I want. We're on two different pages, okay? And what we have is like a book, you know what I mean? And if we're on two different pages, then we don't understand each other. You're saying something, I'm saying something. It's not gonna work. I'm sorry. I love you, but my best interests are at heart. They used to sing it for me to break up with somebody. I told them that I was getting deployed. <laughs> Were you really getting deployed? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told that they had too much schoolwork, so they couldn't. They didn't have enough time for me, and so they they wanted to pay more attention to me, but they couldn't because of school. Oh, it's the school excuse. Lame. Lame. Yeah, love the school excuse. Yeah. Okay. Well, I once told this guy that I had too much schoolwork and. I wanted to focus on it because I wanted to get good grades and he wasn't going anywhere, so...